What's up, Buck fans and RBT Nation? We're back again today to go over a really likable prospect, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, running back out of LSU. And I'm blessed to be with Michael Pless, fellow operator of Real Bucks Talk. Say hello, Pless. What up, guys? Yeah, I mean, Clyde Edwards Hilaire is one of my favorite prospects, so really excited to go over this and uh, break it down. So if we look at him by stature, yes, very diminutive, 5'7", 270, 270, 207 pounds, really big hands. A lot of people knew this was going to happen. He only ran a 4'6", but he's a lot quicker than he is fast. The explosiveness he has, 39.5 inch vert is insane, 123 inch vert, uh, broad jump. Again, very explosive player. And let's go down, check, read a little bit about him. Comparison, Devontae Freeman. A lot of people were wanting us to sign Freeman just to be able to catch the ball for Tom Brady. Why not just get a younger version of that in a dude like this, Clyde Edwards Hilaire? Um, going over great ball security, always a good thing. The biggest thing for me, spin move, elongated jump cut, sudden double cuts in his bag. I mean, he has a lot of stuff he can do very, very well. Uh, plus, runs crisp routes. What else do you see? Yeah, I mean, personally, I, I love his contact balance. You know, make tacklers miss in a phone booth. I think that's very important. Uh, instinctive eyes and feet. I think that's really good. He does a really good job of, you know, really pressing the line of scrimmage. So that's something we'll take a look at. But, yeah, I mean, just a very exciting player. A guy that, you know, is always moving forward, uh, you know. But when we look at weaknesses, yeah, he's quick, but doesn't have the long-term speed. Um, usually gets caught from behind. But, again, I mean, this is a guy you're really not looking to be that home run type of hitter. Uh, he's a guy that can move the chains for you and be very effective and efficient. Uh, and that's what you want out of running back. And plus, to be able to pair him up with a guy like Rojo who has that long speed could be very uh, formidable. Yeah, and then the needs to crank up commitment level and pass sets. Again, he's 5'7", he's smaller. He, he's not going to be able to withstand a lot of a bigger defensive end or defensive tackle coming at him. So Correct. that's that comes with the territory of getting smaller line or linebacker, smaller running back. So I mean we're gonna go over the tape, but before we go over the tape, let's go look at a quick story about Edwards Hilaire. Heart and soul of the LSU offense. I mean, although small can do a lot of things and pretty much helped uh Joe Burroughs get that Heisman trophy, even though Joe Burroughs lit up the world crazy numbers but I mean you can just see a lot of respect from defensive coordinators he's a different dude just watching them I think he's the heart and soul of their whole offense and then stuff of just reading how he himself thinks he's the Swiss Army knife of their of their team he can do whatever they want him to do no matter the situation in life or in football I thought that was really big mm -hmm. yeah I mean he's just he's a mismatched nightmare I mean you can put him Anywhere on the field, uh, I mean, it says right there he's a difference maker. Um, yeah, I mean, you put him against linebackers, defensive backs, they can't really cover him. He finds ways to, you know, just make plays. And he's a that's, monster. Yeah, he's a monster. So, yeah, I believe he's a, one of the most complete backs in this draft class. Uh, and, again, um, just, yeah, very confident, like it shows there. I mean, he walks into a room, feels he's really big. and 6'4", 270, or drum. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how he plays, and he gives off that type of, um, you know, feeling, and it inspires his teammates as well. So, yeah, I think it's a guy that you really want on your team, and he can just make others around him better and also provide um, the pro productivity that you want from running back. Again, another good comparison, MJD. Everyone remembers that small old dude. Way faster deep speed, but very comparable in size of, like, thigh size, leg size, short stature, wants to bull bulldoze you over, so Correct. he's got that heart. But enough about talking about who he is as a person, let's go over the game tape, and the first two games we're going to go over are his Alabama tape, which he did a little bit of damn near everything, 20, 20 runs for 103 yards, three touchdowns, nine catches, 77 yards, receiving and a touchdown, and then Auburn's 26 for 136. Okay, without further ado, we're going to go into the Alabama versus LSU tape. Uh, Alabama has a loaded defensive front, defensive backfield, everything. So let's look and see what Edwards Hilaire had to do against this good top-rated defense. So looking at the first play. Play. 
Just staying low, finding holes, getting second level, finding someone to hit. What do you see? Yeah, I mean, you just you look at the, the field vision, but this is what I was talking about as far as pressing the line of scrimmage, and then he's able to hit, see the hole uh, to the right there. You know, massive hole to the right, but look how he presses the line of scrimmage and, you know, baiting those defense, those linebackers to creep up. And and then he goes the opposite direction. I mean, just change the direction so easily. Yeah, exactly. Being able to go through that, that wide open hole to the right. And it goes from a two yard gain to, a, you know, about 15 yard gain. So that's pretty impressive. I love that. Finishing the play, running through someone, not just falling, taking the hit. Right, yeah, he initiates contact and uh, does a great job. All right, this play is special. I'm just going to let it talk for itself, and then we'll go over it after. Whoop! Whoop! Nasty. I just run it back. Again, it's the vision. I mean, look at his eyes right now. Where is he looking? He's looking this way. Okay, I'm going to push this around, but let's see what happens, right? Going through it. Has that dude there. Reach for air. Ability to yeah. keep going. Sees the safety coming down. I'm still going to go under you. Whew. Comments? Yeah, no, it's, it's special. I mean, it's just his vision and then his ability to, you know, anticipate and combine moves together. I mean, it's really, it's really good by him. I mean, the spin move there, and then understanding the angles and knowing how to cut. You see that cut right there, plants his foot. I mean, able to keep keep his head up at, at the same time as well. Contact balance, you know, not falling down, continuing to get more yards. Really good. All right, that's change of direction right there. Yeah, very good. I mean, his COD is, is off the charts. All right, continuing to run. Let's check him out. Coming inside, pushing the line. Pressing the line, then going forward. Again, it's like he's reading the defense, seeing where he's going to jump cut into. Yeah, he just has a great understanding of, of like you said, knows where holes are supposed to be, um, and he knows how to anticipate. He sees that defender, like you said, coming up. And just look how low he gets. You know, his, his body is so in control, and he's able to drive forward, like you said. And that butt, I mean – yeah. Ass to grass, my man. <laughs> yeah, he does a great job. And, you know, going from, you know, if that's an, an average running back, that's probably a negative yardage. Yeah. Here, it is, here it is again. I mean, just anticipating the defender coming into the box. And look how low he gets. That's a probably five-foot jump, jump cut across. Again, he doesn't give away where he's going either. I mean, it's – his head's just looking straight forward. I mean, there's nothing. Where right. is he going to go? Could he go here? Could he go there? I mean, you don't know. And then at the last second, he's just like, okay, come try and reach for me. Nope. And this is a safety. It's not like it's a 300-pound defensive lineman reaching for air. Yeah, they end up making the play, but this could have been a two, three-yard loss. Right. And he still gets yardage after it. Yeah. And being able to protect the football as well. Mm-hmm. This is almost a cakewalk, but watch what he does to, again, a very high-rated prospect, McKinley here at safety. Right. Uh, let's see what your chances are against Edwards Hilaire. Oh! I mean, that's... Yeah, it's very special. Again, just understanding, and you look at his head, too. I mean, he's still looking north and south, but able to see see the player coming the vision and anticipation, very good. Got to love it. All right, one more run before we get to his pass catching. Getting to the outside. Can he get to the outside? Yeah, but not consistently because a lot of it, oh, God, he got nailed on the end there. But, I mean, a lot of it is staying close to the line. I mean, look how close he is to the, the tight end here, coming down the line, still giving that illusion that he could be still pushing upfield. Bounces back outside. It's the commitment. Having that cornerback read, he still could go upfield. Then he bounces it outside. Still his short little gator arms can push you away. And then just ultimately goes down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, and that, and that goes to vision. Uh, again, just a good job of anticipation. A different angle for the same, same clip. 
Alabama didn't even seem ready, but again. Yeah. Just that little move right there, just to, to bounce it. Again, he understands the defender coming from the north and south angle, as you can see. The guy who ends up making the tackle, he still sees that guy, and he's able to get, <laughs> you know, a good game. So. All right, so now let's look at his pass catching. So This is what makes him special. He's yeah. very special in the pass game. He's like, hey, Burrow, I'm here, buddy. Don't worry. I'm right here. I got this. Letting his man know, buddy, I'm here if you need me. Blitzing linebacker. There was Hilaire. I'm open. Watch the hands on this. All hands. Yeah, and very natural. Work your way upfield. So let's check that in real time. I just wanted to slow it down just because it was just funny him saying, dude, I'm here. <laughs> if you need me, I'm here. Perfect hands. Get upfield. Gain some yards. Yeah, and that's a good understanding of, you know, knowing that pressure is coming. Signals to his quarterback that he's going to be open in the flat. So, again, this is a very smart player that you have in uh, Clyde edwards Hilaire. I mean, he understands, you know, he understands how to read defenses, and it makes them that much better. I love it. Love those hands. But there's more. Find him. What can he do with the ball in his hands? Whoop! Keep going. Again, I mean, imagine, look at this in the eyes of the Bucks. We don't have an elusive pass catcher just yet. Rojo does a, for, an okay job, but look at the hands. I mean, this is a natural hand catch reaching out of his of his chest. I mean, Rojo usually catches with his body. That's catching your hands, putting it away, getting upfield. Yeah, he just, he understands how to set up blocks as well and uh, just does a great job of that right there, just knowing where he, he needs to go, knowing, you know, understanding where the defenders are coming from. Again, not great long speed, but knows how to make plays. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> and that subtle, subtle cut right there, you know, to turn it upfield. Again, that just shows, like, his great balance. He's just got great body control. Understands how to use, use his gifts. I mean, what linebacker in our division or anywhere is going to be able to cover this? Plant your foot in the ground. Separate. Turn your head around. That's an out route. If Dari cut, ran an out route like that against the Texans, maybe Jameis doesn't throw an interception. <laughs> <laughs> Probably but, I not. Mean, just check that out. Like plant, direct, 90 degrees, hands catching, away from the body, stop. I mean, the dude whiffing on air, get to the ground, and I'm going to gain another five, maybe eight yards. Look at that. First down. Yep. First down. Yeah, exactly. And just because it was so nasty, I got to play it one more time. Because the dude just... Cuts one. Oh, shit. That's the oh, shit moment. Hands catch. Put on the brakes. Um, you're done. Yeah, it's hard to stop that. And again, catch, get upfield, deliver some punishment. All right? I mean, this is the type of running back you want, I mean, for Tom Brady, typically. I mean, this is us looking and what is Tom Brady going to ask for? If he's going to have a say in personnel moves you would think this is a type of running back you would want. Yeah, this is, I mean, he, he fits the bill of like that James White, uh, Deion Lewis type mold. But again, he's just, he's got the power and it runs through contact here, as you can see. Yeah, not going to just, not just going to go out of bounds. He's going to deliver hits. Pick up a couple yards and enforce his will. Don't let the other guy hit you and talk some trash after the play. I mean, he hit you first. Right. And then this is a very nice touchdown. It's not just dropping into the flats. I mean, this is what you want in a running back that can catch and run routes. Yeah, that's that's pretty right there. That's a design, um, you know, RB wheel out route. Again, really nice. Joe Burrow just making a great throw, great read as well. I mean, just running into space. You know Jamar Chase is going to get this ball, getting attention, going to the, the post. Okay, right. well, fine. I'm going to hit my, my little running back who's 5'7". Easy yeah, touchdown. That's a great play. Great ball by the quarterback and, you know, just natural. One more again. So the last thing, blocking. 
So little, that was one of his weaknesses. Here's one good one I could find. Being able to read, okay, here comes a, I don't know if it's a safety or corner coming down. He's never going to be able to body someone up. I mean, maybe he can learn it to get low, but pretty much he's, a lot of what I see is him diving for legs. And later in the video, I'll show he, he got caught a couple times doing this, but at least good execution of a block, guys flying in the air. He's doing with what he's got, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. I think that's something he's definitely going to have to work on. But that that's the case for most rookie running backs. Again, it's very hard for them to, you know, be great at pass protection early on. Um, I mean, you have some backs in this class that do it better than others. But, you know, Clyde, I think, is just – he's just going to have to, you know, work on it and be a little bit more committed, like it said in the, in the draft profile. Yeah. Well, that's his Alabama game. Let's jump over to his Auburn game now. So the first two runs, very good. We were talking about how he presses the line. Let's, uh, let's run through it real quick. Again, just fighting for more yards right there. Uh, protecting the football as well. So the big thing, yeah. So what we mean by pressing the line is you're trying to come in to get to this line to draw your middle linebacker in so that your offensive lineman can get hands on the dude. To actually have you have a running alley. So he just slowly, they don't come to him. His lineman grabs him, just gives him enough of a a chuck. It's another good run by him. Again, just running downhill, makes another guy miss, and then fights forward and gets the first down. I mean, it's these are the type of plays that he just does so consistently. But it's really just the awareness and just that. That's natural, special. Right? Yeah. Yeah, natural catching ability and just what I love about him, he always has his eyes upfield, uh, never has his head down. He's always aware of, you know, what is coming. And that's what away from people, but he just, he knows how to be efficient and, and make the most out of every play. Plant. I mean, look how low his ass is again. I mean, he's picking up shards of grass. <laughs> <laughs> again, yeah, he's only 5'7", so he's very low to the ground already, but... Just ability to separate from number 10 right there. And then, like you yeah. said, he's not going to burn you, so he juked the crap out of number 10 over here, but still, that long speed isn't there. Right. I'm moving more through. Again, I just love his ability to use hands. Yeah, natural catch, catching ability. Just makes it look so easy. Secure the bag. Yeah, again, he's protecting the football. And gets a modest, you know, four-yard gain. Yeah, but we need that. And here's the other clip I was talking about blocking. He's smaller, so he's not going to be able to body you because he's going to get run over. So if you look at it, run it through real quick. He reads it right, but just gets slid right over. Because why? He can't body you, so he's going for your legs. He's going to have to learn how to at least attempt to get his butt down to make a block because... BA ain't going to allow that. Yeah, he's a little indecisive there. He wasn't sure if he should just, you know, stay on his feet or go for the legs. And, you know, defender makes a nice play on him here. Gets yeah. around him. Well, um, I mean, but if that's the biggest negative, I'll, I'll take it. Right. This is something that's very coachable. Again, this is something they can work on with him. Really, pass protection is just understanding. And, and the, the key is, like, he understands – where he needs to go. It's just the execution of the block. So mm -hmm. that's that's a good step in the right direction. He understands where he needs to be as far as blocking. It's just making that block. Yeah. And that's something they can work on. Yeah, well, that said, let's, let's go over him overall. I mean, so overall, I mean, Edwards Hilaire, small in stature, but mighty in his play. I mean, that's so cliche, but that's pretty much what he is. The dude has great hands, stays low, you don't know where he's going to go. He's not repetitive with his motions. To me, he does a lot of things you really like in a running back. He doesn't have elite speed, but great for Tom Brady and a pass catcher. He's not going to be a short yardage back. I don't care how many times they're going to say he has big, thick thighs. He's going to be able to do it. He's not going to be able to do it. But for me, he is what he is. Is he worth the second round pick? Possibly, I almost would say. I mean, imagine that weapon with... O.J. Howard, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin. I mean, there's a lot to go with just 
he can do it. He can do a little bit of everything. That's pretty much my overall with Clyde Edwards Hilaire. What do you got? Yeah, I agree. I, I think he's he's got that. You know, he's just got special ability, um, whether it be in the run game or the or the passing game. Uh, his ability to make to think would be a very special tandem, and especially with this team being in a win now mode, I think Clyde Edwards Hilaire is very a, a very complete player and a guy that you want on your team if if you're looking to have you know impact type players. And I think he's a guy that can have an impact day one, and I think that's what the Bucks are looking for when it comes to uh, this year's draft. <laughs> Plus, throughout the win now mode. <laughs> Well, I mean, either way, every team is in win, ma- win now every year. But with that said, guys, if you enjoy the content, please like, subscribe. Let us know how you feel down in the comments down below. But other than that, go Bucks.